everybody, this is my Girls Me Call Me, and welcome back to Hiroshi When They Cry, Himasubushi. This may or may not be the last episode of Himasubushi, I am not for sure. We're going on to the last chapter, so I don't know how long this chapter is going to be, so we might be on the last episode, we might be on the second to last episode, who knows? So anyways, uh, before I begin this video, I'm going to go ahead and tell you all that I'm actually recording this video on a new camera. Yes, I got a new camera after, uh... Six years of using this one. Yes, I've been using this camera for about five to six years, and I've been needing an upgrade for a long time. So, this is the upgrade camera. I don't know how well this is gonna work. Uh, I done a few tests before, which, but all right. But <laughs> this is my first actual video I'm filming with this camera with. So, if it looks like poop, I apologize. If it sounds like poop, I apologize. <laughs> but without further ado, let's just begin. I don't know if it has a- Oh! Whoa. Wow. Yeah, that's some Japanese language. Wow. その後悔と投獄が閉じられたままだった運命を開く一つの光となった暇つぶし運命は幸せだけじゃないでも不幸を望む人なんて誰もいない wow. Midsummer 1985 Oh, this is interesting. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Papa! Miyuki? Papa, oh, is this Akasaka's daughter? Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Oh. 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 いや。なんでもない。ちょっと暑かったかな。I'm <laughs> taking a guess that Miyuki is his daughter or child. I'm taking a guess that. I'm not for sure though. I tried to wipe away the sweat while answering, and I looked around for a handkerchief or towel. And then a cold drop ran down my forehead. Miyuki turned to me and smiled, then wiped my face with the towel she received at takeoff. Arigato. Yuki. Oh, are they in the airport? <laughs> or an airplane? Oh, I think they're in the airplane, yeah. Thanks to her, I was finally able to shake off my slumber, so I got up from the aisle seat and looked out the window. I wrapped my arms around my Yuki in the window seat and listened to the noise as the land and sea blew past us before our eyes. <laughs> And then the plane gently turned before entering the airport runway. Ah. Back to where we started this chapter. Arriving at the lobby, I glanced around, looking for Iwishi. And was met with a familiar gruff voice calling out to me. Akasakasa! <laughs> he sounds so excited to say, see me. Nanembri <laughs> desho! <laughs> I think seven? Or six. I think it's actually seven years since we last seen Oishi. Oishi clapped his hand out on my shoulder, celebrating our reunion. Frontline フロントライン<笑><笑> 
<laughs> Uchi had retired and moved to Sapporo, and of all things, had started taking ballroom dancing lessons. He had apparently gotten really into it, and had decided to spend the rest of his new life devoted to that hobby. He was able to get his instructor's qualifications before he hit 80, and live out his old age dandily. How old is Uishi? We How old is he? <laughs> so <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! I was not expecting to actually see her! Oh, wow! She's adorable! I was not expecting to actually see the daughter. I thought she was going to be like an unseen character. But no! We actually get to see Akasaka's daughter! Holy shikes! Oishi suddenly turned his attention to Miyuki, who was standing idly next to me. He bent down on his knee and to look at her face. However, my daughter was frightened and hid behind my back. Gora, Miyuki. Chanto go aisatsu shino sai. Ah, um, itto. Sorry. She was staring at Oishi with a dubious expression while tugging at the hem of my shirt. She's usually not this shy. I wonder what's wrong. Well, it's a Wishi that she's looking at. いいえ、いいえ、いいんですよ。おじさん顔が怖いからな。よかったらお名前を聞いてもいいですか？えっと、赤坂みゆき。七歳です。<笑> Yes, it has been seven years later because she was just born when we met Oishi. こ、こんにちはです。うん、いいお返事です。さすがは赤坂さんの娘さんですよな。Oishi <laughs> gently shook Mayuki's head and smiled as though she were his own grandchild. After finally seeing that, Miyuki smiled in relief. We should could be a good grandpa figure. Well, if you're on his good side, it could be a good grandpa figure. Shortly afterwards, Mimi told me that she was just doing what I told her to do. Be careful around strangers. We should overheard that and let a hearty <laughs> shaking his body while laughing and walking. I let myself into Uishi's car and we headed out towards the hot spring inn. I'd originally intended to crash at Uishi's place. But I wish he was quite obstinate about that his home wasn't suitable for that, so it came to this. I then we relaxed while soaking in the hot springs, then ate a delicious feast until we were full. Miyuki had a little bit of, uh, of the Mongolian barbecue and was delighted with it. I was reading way too fast, so I didn't even know where I was going. <laughs> I'm gonna read slower, sorry everyone. After our bellies were swelling, Miyuki grew tired and went off to bed. Then Oishi and I reminisced about the time we played Mahjong together in Himizawa. It seemed that to celebrate our reunion, Oishi had looked for people who could play. But unable to find a suitable candidate, we had to give up on putting together a table. As we drank together, we excitedly recounted our exploits during the final manhunt. <laughs> That was a abrupt end to the music, that means we're getting down to the serious shit. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, this is the first time I saw I've ever seen a Wishi not in his usual clothing attire. This is interesting. <laughs>結局山狩りでも見つけられませんでした。多分村に囲まわれてから海外か遠方でほとぼりを覆してるんじゃないかと思いますね。大石さんは確か。犯人の銃の一丁を奪いましたよね。あれからは。海外の軍用拳銃でした。関西系の暴力団組織が大量に密輸した。うちの一丁でしょうな。戦場を検証を調べましたが、他の事件との繋がりは何も出ませんでした。
he's Paul O'Reilly. He sipped his chill drink. Ano ato a taihen deshita ne. Uh, we're yeah. Kotoshi de shichi nen desu ka. Eh, senjitsu, nana kaiki no hoyo ga arimashita. Gift mo saikin wa soen deshite. Junbi de iroiro kuroo shimashita. それはそれはお疲れ様でした。It was then that the hostess brought in the extra drinks that we had ordered before. While the bottles of beer clanked as she brought them in, we halted our conversation. What a wish he meant when he said it must have been tough. Thinking about that was still hard, but time had healed the wound. It was the day after when I phoned Uishi to apologize. When I did, Uishi almost immediately handed the phone to one of my colleagues who had to be there. Not only was I injured in the brawl with the suspects, but I disappeared into、yeah, but I disappeared to drink late into the night without leaving any sort of contact information. So I thought he'd definitely be mad. However, all he said was that it was something he couldn't talk about over the phone, and that I should come over to the station as soon as possible. At the time, I could only think that he must have been really pissed off. But when I arrived at the station, he said this. Oh, no! Why did it freeze right there? Oh my god! Why did that line the game froze? Oh, it's back on now, but oh my god! It couldn't have picked a worse time to freeze. Than that! Oh my god! Well, I'm gonna go ahead and read the light because you guys aren't able to see it because the game froze! It seems your wife was involved in an accident. Having no idea what happened, I borrowed the phone to contact the hospital UK was staying at. After being given the runaround several times, I was finally able to talk to someone in charge. And after missing words for quite some time, They told me. Akasaka UK Samaga. Jiko de Onakunari ni Narimashita. The world became a blur as I sat there dumbfounded. UK says was unbelievably abrupt, unbelievably sudden. I could have understood if there was some kind of problem during the birth. But UK says wasn't anything like that. On the stairs on the way up to the roof, she just happened to slip. And fall. And she just happened to fall in an unfortunate place at, the, at an unfortunate angle. That was it. Wanting to blame UK s death on somebody, I began to think that it was an act of revenge by the Defense Alliance, that they killed my wife and made it look like an accident. What I learned when I flew back to Tokyo, however, was much more cruel than that. UK had a habit of going up to the roof to cool off in the evening. There was an elevator up to the seventh floor, but from there you had to take the stairs to get to the roof. Even late in her pregnancy, when the evening came, she would always head up there. Her father had always said for her not to push herself. But UK insisted that until the time she had no choice but to stay in bed, she should be allowed to do as she wished. However, I had never once seen UK go up to the roof. I only heard that from her father and the nurses. That was because whenever I visited her, she would spend that time with me instead. I heard the reason why Yuke went up to the roof from a nurse she had become friendly with. She had said that her husband was away on a business a lot of time, and that whenever he called, she was able to cheer him up and give him a cor- courage. But when he didn't call, she couldn't do that. Her husband might put on a show of bravado. But in reality, he grew lonesome and pathetically fast. I am shivering. Oh my gosh, I forgot that this room does not have insulation. And it's like below freezing. <laughs> I did not. I only have a t shirt and pants on. 
and underwear and socks, but nothing else. I am freezing. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry for the other interruption, but wow, I am shaking. <laughs> okay, here we go. Her husband might put on a show of bravado, but in reality, he grew lonesome pathetically fast. She was probably just the same. Whenever he left for business, not clear when he'd be back, she felt very lonely. Whenever she cheered him up, she was actually cheering herself up as well. That's why, whenever he went far away for an important job, on the evenings he didn't call, at the very least, she felt that standing underneath the same sky, her feelings would reach him. At that moment, I remember the words that girl had told me. That it was best that I go back to Tokyo right away. Otherwise, there would be something I'd regret horribly. Yes. That's it. Because I was always away on business on that... That day... Mm. Ah! Because I was away on business that day, UK had headed up to the roof. Had I known that this would have been the result, had I done as the girl had said and dropped everything to head back to Tokyo? I might have been with Yuki on the day she died. If I was with her, she wouldn't have gone up to the roof. The day my wife died was on the evening of my third day of my trip. Of the third day of my trip. Yes. It was right before the time I had the sudden urge to hear Yuki's voice and ran around the village trying to find a phone. The girl had gone around and cut all the phone cords. If she hadn't, and I had made that call, I would have undoubtedly learned of UK's death at the time, and collapsed in tears. Of course, even though the cords were cut, it had only put me off of learning of UK's death by that one evening. In the end, I learned of it the next morning. However, when I managed to put my emotions in order, I realized it was that girl's small token of consideration. Oh, did he tell me she told me she everything. I didn't realize that he was telling me she this. Oh, I didn't realize that he was telling me she this. Oh, I didn't realize that he 教えてくれましたよねあの子はお社様という神様の生まれ変わりではないかと言われてるってねえまあ村の年寄りどもはフルデリカに陣痛力があると信じてるようでしたがね陣痛力ウシアリリスサーダーウズカムジョークバーリライザーリライザーガーをシリーズヒスロードルズまあ、嘘か本当か知りませんがね。未来のことを予言してみせたり、知らないはずのことを話してみせたり。千里眼だの、天の啓示だの。まあ、いろいろです。もちろん、具体的な実例は何一つありゃしないんですがね。<笑>予言してみせましたウシュー tried to laugh it off, but out of respect by the deceased wife, he kept it restrained. 現職の警視庁の敏腕捜査官が陣痛力やらたたりやらを信じるわけで Do we? Having him say that so bluntly, I couldn't respond. Of course I had no intention of believing such odd things. But he can only say that because he didn't know what I did. Since I met that other girl, who was both was and wasn't Rika Furude, I couldn't deny the existence of any other worldly entity. Ooh. Of course, there is no persistence, but a warning. If what that girl had said was a warning about UK's accident, then things became much easier to understand. Basically, the line of thinking became that it was a threat. Because I didn't go back to Tokyo, my wife was killed in a way that made it look like an accident. 
奥さんの事故の検証に不備はもちろん暴殺の可能性も疑いました現場検証の書類は全て目を通しましたし私が独自に調査もしました There weren't any witnesses to Yoke as well. There was the possibility that somebody had hidden waiting to push Yoke down the stairs. However, the cleaning ladies frequented the roof to hang laundry, and the security cameras on each floor hadn't recorded anything out of the ordinary. There wasn't anything set up on the stairs, and I was unable to find anything suspicious. ユキエが単独で事故を起こしたとしか考えられませんうん。まあ確かに。大臣の孫を誘拐して、脅迫してのけた連中です。妊婦一人を階段から突き落として、証拠を残さないなんて、できないことじゃないのかもしれない。Well, hmm. I could say that UK's death was the first year of the curse, but I don't know who could have gone missing. Because I'm thinking about that, I'm like, UK's death could be the first year of the curse, and the curse has been going on for six years, but nobody disappeared, so I don't know if it's related to the curse or not. Uwishi's expression had completely sobered up. Oh! Oak Sanwa. Then you need. Korosareta. There's so many lines to make up his frowning face that it's kind of funny. <laughs> When Yuke died, I thought that as well. More precisely, I wanted to blame somebody, so I created the most viable scapegoat. But without any clear evidence, that violent notion faded along with the wounds in my heart. のの <laughs> I knew his face was going to change, but it was still as hilarious as I imagined. Uchi smiled slightly in disbelief as he poured more beer from his bottle. Yeah, I eat this, yo. Akasaka san no yu tori. Fulu de Rika wa mirai ga wakaru yogen sha da to shimas. Nara, naze ano dai sai gai ga yuchi deki na gatta desu. Anna o soroshi ga sai gai ga okoru to shite te, do o shite damat te itan desu. Hon no su jikan mai de mo i. もし村に知らされていたらほとんどの人は死なずに済んだかもしれないじゃないですか。Great Himizawa Disaster Memorial List It was near the end of June 1983 Volcanic gases from the Okinafuchi swamp erupted and hit the village in the middle of the night It was an unpreceded -pre disaster where the whole populace was wiped out It caused a wave of panic about volcanic gas across the country, causing people to overreact over any reports of hot smells. I hadn't heard of the blockage on the Himizawa area being lifted, so it should be still cordoned off. So, I thought we were going to get the end <laughs> memoriam list. <laughs> it was my turn to be lost for a response. Ma demo. Oya Shiro Sama no Umare Kari de Aru Furu de Rika ga Korosare ta no de Mura ga Oya Shiro Sama no Ikari ni Furete Sore de Numa kara Shouki ga Waki da shite Mura o Shimet sase ta n jya nai ka te So yu hanashi ga Tashi ka ni Hinami Zawa kei no Seizon shita ningen tachi no aida de Oh there are survivors Sase e kare te ta no ga Jijitsu desu ne Because in the previous chapter the only survivor was Keiichi So there are more survivors than Himisabushi apparently おいさん、失礼。今、殺されたとおっしゃいましたか。おお、あくさげてんな。え？おお、うん。まあ、赤坂さんになら話しても問題ないか。Here we go. 
When I saw the news about the gas disaster, I remembered that girl. I then found her name in the list of victims. That's why, at the time, I thought her own death was that... I thought her own death she predicted was due to the gas. It was after that I learned from the tabloids of the series of the. Mmm, wow! I can't read today, I'm sorry. It was after that I learned from the tabloids of the series of mysterious deaths in Himizawa during the five years leading up to the disaster that became known as the Curse of Orishi Osama. And that string of mysterious deaths lined up exactly with what the girl had predicted, so I always thought to ask Oishi about it, as he had been involved in the investigation. That's right. That was the reason for our reunion. But right now, Huichi had said, Riga Furede didn't die in disaster, but was killed? Can you do it for an old friend? <laughs> ah, damn, I don't think he's gonna do it for an old friend. Nakai-san, sorry! In the bar, there's a high price of a high price. I'm sorry. He's gonna get She's so drunk that he reveals classified information! We should laugh loudly, but not wholly unsatisfied, has stopped the host to tell her that the cheap boost was fine. I know that the news is not the レノ大災害のせいで避難水は地区全域が封鎖されちゃいましたからねあの最後の年のたたりについては完全に迷宮入りですあの最後の年のたたりについては完全に迷宮入りです Uji seemed to postulate to himself as he stared at the ceiling, as if trying to work out a memory from the rusty cogs in his head. And then he said in a completely sober voice, Shugansi nanka jya, gonen me no tatari ga ano dai saigai da, mitai na ikata o shite masu kedo ne. Honto no gonen me no tatari wa, chan to watanagashi no matsuri no toujitsu ni atta n desu yo. Is he gonna say it? Tomitakejiro,っていう旅行写真家がいましてね。彼が自生に。Uchi gesture about how the victim tore out his own throat with his fingernails as he talked. で、その富武氏の小田舎の女性が山中で焼死体に。Her name was. お隣の県警さんがあんまり協力的じゃなかったもんで、こっちはあまりよく状況を知らないんですがね。Oh, is that even going to mention her name? いつやにして犠牲者が二人も。うん。実はね、二人どころじゃ済まないんですよ。その翌日になんですがね、私の後輩の熊谷くんが捜査中に車両ごと蒸発しましてね。うん。熊谷は若い男性だったが、当時に見
彼のことは赤坂さんもご存知ですよねほら入江先生ですよ。Yes, yeah, I kind of this one. 覚えてますあああの病院の若い先生ですね。ぼんやりと覚えてます。彼ですね。どういうわけか睡眠薬で自殺しまして、遺書の類はなし。司法解剖の結果でも睡眠薬によるものと断定されました。動機以外に不審な点はなし。睡眠薬での死に見せかけるのはそんなに難しくないんじゃないですか他殺の可能性は独身で離婚歴もなし特定の女性と付き合っていたという話もなし少年野球チームの監督を務め村人との親交もあり誰からも好かれる人物敵が見当たりませんねまあそれを調べるにももうあの大災害でめちゃくちゃになっちゃいましたからね。今となっては彼の身辺を調べようもありませんが。<笑>それでフルで理科の死はその当日です。昼ごろに神社に訪れた村の老人たちが。フルで理科の死体を発見しました。他殺。ああ。話す前に、そのイカそうめん。無体な死に方。失われファルマイ。死体は神社の境内。さい銭箱の脇でした。もっとも。閉めたのは他の場所でしょうね。全裸で裸足。足の裏は汚れてませんでしたから。愉快犯の犯行。司法解剖の結果、そういった痕跡は認められませんでした。分かったのは、薬物で昏睡させられてから、あの場所へ運ばれ、腹部を切開。意図的に臓器を引きずり出して、四方に散らしてみせました。昏睡では、回復は死後ではなく。うん。なんて。向こうい。That girl's prediction was right on the mark. I'm pretty sure she was more detailed about the other deaths that led up to her own. For example, I think she said that the householder was beaten to death on the fourth year and had her head split open. Then, in that case, did she know that her own death would be so terrible? There must have been some moments where she wanted to doubt the validity of her own predictions. But as people died exactly as she prophesied, as the years passed, that prophecy would only come closer to fruition. And then, facing the final year, unable to struggle against her own destiny, her all too young life was snuffed out. And in such a cruel way. Knowing that her days were numbered, un and unable to fight the tide of events hailing her end, my heart ached at her helplessness. This is not a bad thing, but it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. と言いますのはですね、ひなみざはかつて鬼が住んでたって話は以前もしましたよね。<笑>そんな話も聞きましたっけひなみざ村のお祭りの綿流しってのはそもそも綿流し、つまり造物流しから転じたものらしいんです。なんでも。人食い鬼たちが犠牲者をばらして内臓を川に捨てたというところから転じたらしいんですよつまり雛見沢村においては内臓を引きずり出すことに宗教的な意味があったと<笑>で雛見沢村の昔話によるとですね I don't know if the game froze or not 
I'm gonna go ahead and um restart my camera real quick. Shitokuyoni to ningen ga nakayoku kurasu tame no chotei sha to shite Oyashiro sama to yu kami sama ga fallin shite iru ってことになってるらしい。確か、フルでリカはそのおやしろ様の生まれ変わりだと言われてるんでしたね。ねえ。ですから、その嵐と神であるフルでリカを回復して殺すのは、村の信仰に対するこれ以上ない冒涜行為と言えるわけです。信仰への冒涜。それはつまり、おやしろ様への冒涜。ということですねあとは赤坂さんも知っての通りですお社様のたたりが起こるのはその晩のことですひなみざは大災害はい。鬼ヶ淵沼と言いまして、ひなみざわ村の救命、鬼ヶ淵村の名前の源となった沼です。村の言い伝えでは、この沼の王族は地獄につながってるそうで、oh. okay. かつて村にやってきた人食い鬼たちは、<笑>この沼からのバックレンズ。私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、まだまだできすぎてますよ。村には伝承がありまして、おやしろ様がお怒りになられると、地獄の釜が開いて正気が溢れ出す。なんて言うんですよ。村人にとって、地獄というのは沼の底のこと。つまりそこから、正気が溢れ出して村を襲うということ。そう。つまり、フルデリカコとおやしろ様の生まれ変わりが、冒涜される殺され方をしたので、おやしろ様がお怒りになって、たたりとしてあの大災害を起こしたと。そういう話がまかり通っちゃってるんですよ。つまり、あの大災害は、人為的なものうーん、確かに、話ができすぎてますからね。おやしろ様のたたりが実在せず、本当の偶発的事故でもないってんなら、そう疑いたくもなりますよね。A wry smile from the Rushi's face as he listened to my absurd take on things.He wore an expression as though, even if it were absurd, there was a time he had thought the same thing as well. 村の信仰をめぐって、狂信的な一派があったと仮定し。彼らがおやしろ様のお怒りがあるような状況を作り出し大災害を実行してみせたもちろん私は笑いませんよ私も一度ならずともそう考えたことはありますですが日な沢村がいかに小さい村とはいえ人口は千人以上それを一夜にして抹殺するなんてどう考えても現実的じゃないです The gas eruption was believed to have happened around 2 a.m., several hours before dawn. In that short amount of time, going around and killing all the villagers in a way that made it look like poison gas didn't seem feasible at all. Gas no has seen the Numa Momata, Shukyo Tekna Imiga, I must say. That was the Numa ni Nanika Shikake got the Kami no Sabaki, or it's the most high end decay on a Nanika got the Toka. 自衛隊の発表では沼が発生源だということになってますよね調査チームとかが詳しく調べた上での発表ですからねそんな仕掛けがあったら見つけてると思いますけどね沼そのものに仕掛けがあるとは限りませんよほら
聞いたことありませんが遠くの泉の水が枯れたら村の泉も枯れたなんて昔話何ですかそりゃ水源ってのは地下水脈等でつながっていることが多いんです沼や泉はそれが地上に露出した部分にすぎません<笑>つまり赤坂さんが言いたいのは鬼ヶ淵沼とつながった別の沼か泉があってそれに何らかの仕掛けをすると鬼ヶ淵沼の圧力とか水圧とかそういうものがいろいろ変わって毒ガスが噴出する仕掛けを大昔のそういう話ですよね。No! ですよね。それが立証できたら日本の犯罪史始まって以来の空前規模の大量殺人ってことになりますよ。ひなみざ村の封鎖が解除されたらぜひ調べるべきだと思います。大石様、県警にはまだ影響力はそこそこには。柔道部の名誉顧問ですからね。今でも夏の合宿屋なんかにはちょくちょく出かけてます。ひなみざ村の封鎖解除がいつになるかわかりませんが、ぜひ調べさせてください。わかりました<笑>大石さんはこの日な見沢村連続開始事件通称お社様のたたりをどう捉えていますか当時の署内は村人の圧力でぎゅうぎゅうでしてね連続事件は存在しないというのが当時の公式見解でした事件はここでまたそれぞれに解決しているとバカな村の信仰に基づいた連続事件であることは明白なのに赤坂さんそりゃあ5年も続いて派手な最後があった今だから言えることですよあの当時は偶然の事件が偶然にも綿流しの日に起こる今年は起きないといいななんて感じだったんです偶然なものか少女は初めから全て予言していた少女フルデリカですあの子は私にその後の事件を全て予告してみせました赤坂さんそりゃ本当ですかはいあの子は言ったんです翌年ダムの現場監督が殺され死体をバラバラにされるとのみにとどまらずその後に続く連続事件を全て私に予告してみせました赤坂さんがその話を聞いたのは昭和の何年の話ですか私が少女と出会ったのは誘拐事件調査の折ですから昭和53年6月ですバラバラ殺人の前年に Wrinkles form between the wishy's eyebrows as he closed his eyes and began to digest what I just told him. あかさかさん。フルでリカが人通力で未来が分かった。なんて話がなしだとするなら、これはとんでもない話ですよ。今さら私を驚かせるための作り話だなんて言ったら
本気で怒りますよ私は真実を話しています連続開始事件は発生の前年にはもう全てシナリオが用意されていたそしてその予告の通りフルでリカは殺されました私は初め大災害による死を指したものと思っていたでも彼女の死は災害ではなく殺人者の手による残忍なものであることが分かりました彼女は殺されると言った彼女は自分の死を具体的にあの時点で知っていたんですならフルでリカはどうして逃げ出さなかったんですかね<笑>仮にそういった死のシナリオがすでに出来上がっていたとして彼女はそれを知りかつ数年という猶予期間があったわけですよね逃げ出すなり警察に相談するなりの時間はあったはずですなぜ抗わずに自らの死を受け入れたんですわかりませんフルデリカは村の年寄り連中に可愛がられてはいましたがね両親を失った後は親類もゼロで身寄りはなく親しい友人と肩を寄せ合うだけの孤独な生活でしたからね戦う力も頼れる人間も身近にはいなかったのかもしれません彼女は自分の死に対して誰かに SOS を発しはしなかったんでしょうか村と警察が穏便な関係じゃなかったのは赤坂さんも知られるところだと思います少なくとも私の耳にはフルでリカが自身の身柄の保護を求めてきたという情報はありません<笑>あるいは自身が宗教的な生贄にされることに対し抵感というか達観というかそういうものがあったのかもしれませんねそんなはずはない I spoke decisively. At that time, she said it. She had definitely said that she wanted to live happily, that she wanted to spend her time surrounded by her dear friends. She had to give up on life. She had hoped to keep on living. <sighs> At that moment, I became dumbstruck. どうしました Akasaka san? I fell into silence. Uishi folded his arms and began murmuring in contemplation again. Eventually, he stood up and headed towards the hallway to find the hostess, yelling that he wanted a pen and paper. But Uishi, noisy even though he was just thinking, left. The room immediately fell into a chilled silence. I stood up. It was then I realized I was strong enough to be unsteady on my feet. When I slid open the window, a beautiful yet somehow ephemeral mood drifted across the night sky. Game froze again! Yep, de do! Number three! <laughs> that was a short freeze, so it wasn't that bad, but damn! What is up with the game today? It was just now that I realized she had to accept her own death. She wanted to keep living. Happily and joyously. She had said that quite clearly to me. But I was a fool. I hadn't been asked explicitly, so I hadn't realized it. She had made it clear as day that she didn't want to die. Wasn't that her cry for help? She didn't say as much as she, that she wanted help. But even given that, it wasn't as though she wasn't looking for salvation. Without any family unable to, un unable to trust the police, she instead told somebody without any relation to the village, somebody from a faraway place. Me. Help me. She had gone around and cut the phone cords. If I, hit, if I had made that phone call and learned of Yukiya's death, I probably, would have, I probably would have fallen into despair. If I was in that state, even if she was looking for help, her cries would have fallen on deaf ears. 
That's why. Knowing everything, she had cut the phone cords. She wanted even a little time to seek help from me. Luigi, just before now, had lamented that one of his younger officers got mixed up in a case, having, having been erased because he wasn't there. And I was feeling the same way. If only I was there in June of 1983. I could have protected her. In 1983, it would have been five years since the kidnapping took place. While raising the only daughter Yuki had left me, putting all my youth and passion into my work, honing my wits and courage wrestling with difficult cases, nothing like my failings during the kidnapping incident would have occurred. I would have been slow to react in a one-on-one -on -one fight, and by that point, I jumped into the foreign mafia run gambling parlors where I learned to deal with automatic weapons, let alone handguns. I had grown so much in 1983, I could have been compared to how I was in 19 1978. That's why. I was, if I was by your side, I should have been able to save her life. No matter what conspiracy or foul plots drew near, I definitely would have protected her. She, even though sounding resigned, should have still been able to ask me for help. I just didn't realize it. I couldn't realize it. Just as I wouldn't realize it if I was told of UK's accident, I wasn't able to realize it. I wanted to cry. If I had taken her word to heart, I would have prevented UK's incident. Accident. And I would have been able to protect the girl who, whom I owed a death from even a, a predetermined death. She must have been expecting that from me. I learned about the disaster while watching the television in my house. Until I learned about that, I had forgotten about Himizawa. Another, in order to recover from the shock of Yuki's death, I had tried to remove everything about the place from my memory. What an ungrateful fool I was! Even though in exchange for saving her, the girl told me of a way to save Yuki. I was able to accept her gratitude, and here we are, were. She hadn't died in her sleep due to a natural disaster. She was put open while still alive, killed while suffering the disgrace of having her organs turned out. She must have known beforehand that on that day of that year, she would have been, she would be killed in such a terrifying way. But even knowing what Anne awaited her, she was all too weak. A lone girl without anybody to rely on, unable to seek help, had to swallow her own predetermined death, and left this mortal coil. She said she wanted to live. She said she just wanted to live happily. That's all she wanted. She didn't ask for anything extravagant. For any person that was ever born, it was the very best of desires, basis of desires. She never said a peep about wanting body or that she wished she was in somebody else's situation. She has said it. That if all deaths were preordained, then hers was probably all according to plan. She might have been a lone, frail girl. But I don't think she would have accepted it at all without at least putting up a fight. Oop. I dropped a shark on my keyboard. <laughs> there must have been... In some small way. Some form of resistance that she mustered. It was what she could muster. Sick of my help was a part of that. I howled. I stopped the floor. Why did I become a police officer in the first place? How could I call myself an officer if I couldn't save a single girl from the misfortune that was awaiting her? Was it because there was so much going on at that time I couldn't pr 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 process the fact that she was asking for help? Yeah, that's right. I was still green! If that was in, if I was in that situation now, I would have definitely been able to help her. But it was already over. Even I wanted to sell the regret she left behind. Himizawa has a dangerous area. I was still quarantined. Most of the people involved were already dead with the few that remained spread around the country, unable to be traced. The stage of that tragedy was still off limits as well. The police investigation was put on hold, the case solely being buried in the sands of time. Just like I wouldn't know it unless she had asked me about it. Akasaka-san, 
大丈夫ですか At some point, Wishi had returned with a notebook in hand. Until I saw the expression on Wishi's face, I didn't realize that I was in tears. 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 少女は殺されたこんなにも無残な殺され方で私は頼られたのに<笑>救えなかった救えなかった村人と良好な関係を築かなかった私にも責任があるかもしれませんフルデリカが私にそれを打ち明けてくれたなら私だって救いの手を差し伸べられたかもしれない彼女が打ち明けにたる信頼を築けなかった後悔しています When Ushi said the word trust it weighed on me even more Yes She had given me her trust She trusted me Being that she thought I would have been able to ward off the fate of her own of her foreseen death She believed in that I cried I fell to my hands and knees as I began to bawl Eventually, Ushi spoke quietly. Akasaka san, Kuyashi deska. Kuyashi des. Naraba, Fur de Rika no Kataki o Turu ni atai suru ho ho ga, Hitotsu dake a rimas. Sona ho ho ga, a r u n deska. Ushi showed me the pen and notebook. フルデリカの死を悼むためにもせめて私たちで真相<笑>そうですフルデリカだけじゃない大勢が死にました彼らの無念は計り知れませんでも彼らの死はあの大災害でうやむやにされ今は捜査すらされることなく忘却の彼方に葬られようとしています、yes. 大勢死んだ親父さんも殺されたクマちゃんも消されたみんなみんな犠牲にあったなのに警察は捜査もできないでいる誰に無念が晴らせるのか私たちだけなんですよ赤坂さん私たちにいい明かせますよ連続開始事件のすべての現場を踏み、村の裏事情に精通する私と、私と、私と、私と、私と、私と、私と、私と、私と、私と、私と、私と、私と、私と、私と、私と、私と、私と、私と、私と、私と、私と、私と、私と、私と、私と、私と、私と、私と、私と、私と、私と、私と、私と、私と、あなたが青二歳だったから救えなかった。We're gonna wake up your daughter, dude. <laughs> I think your daughter's in the other room, and you're probably waking her up with how much you're crying. <laughs> like it's okay to cry, but holy shit, dude, your daughter's in the other room, probably woke it up by your screaming. <laughs> Whoa, who'd you grab me? Who was a wreck? And lifted me firmly by the labels. You're close. Takara! Sono tsugunai to shti! Shinsou kyumei surun desu! Watashi tachi de! Anata no hanashi ga jijit nara, sube te no jiken wa kei kak to yu koto nnaru. So nara ba, shirabe kata wa zen zen kawatte kurun desu kara ne. Having a wishy look at me this close makes me feel like he's just gonna beat me, like he just zoomed into his mouth and get the power! I don't know why that's not to my head, but I keep on thinking I wish he's about to eat me when he's up, up this close to my face. I wish I could have a little bit of 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 a 
暴く。Hell yeah. 暴く。Yes! ソクソク !Yes! ねえ。あれから数年が経過しましたが、時効ではない。捜査は中断であっても終了ではない。まだ続いているんです。続けさせるんです。私たちがです。ええ。ええ、やりましょう大石さん、yes. このまま終わらせたりなんかしない絶対私たちがこの真相を暴いてみせるんです、yes. 絶対に I demonstrated my resolve to Oishi by crying out those words and just then パパ<笑> I knew you woke her up The sliding door behind me opened, and Mayuki revealed herself while sleepily rubbing her eyes. My shouting must have awoken her, and then she rushed over to me. What happened, Papa? Papa, are you sleeping? Ah, no. No, no. Mayuki. I tried hard to smile while, while wiping away my tears. And though Mayuki looked like she was about to cry herself, she extended her little hand to me. Wait, well, that, that was the image from the opening movie. Hold up. Huh. And when she made that gesture towards me, I saw the figure of another girl overlapping with her. And her innocent gaze and innocent expression felt frustrat frustratingly nostalgic, filling me with painful torment. A girl who couldn't be here because I didn't reach out to her. She borrowed my daughter's wire to offer me words of comfort. Akasaka, Nakanaide Kudasai Nanodes. Ah, that's sweet. It might be a hallucination. Maybe a convenient il illustration formed from my selfish dreams. Illusion, not illustration, illusion. <laughs> However, that was her voice. I'm certain I heard it. Rather than blame me for my mistake, she was compassionate. Ah. Naku mono ka. Naku yori mo mazu. Watashi ni wa yaru beki koto ga aru. Solve the fucking mystery behind what the hell happened to Himizawa. Miyuki? You're close as well, Miyuki. Papa, ne? Omae ga umareru mai ni Hinamizawa ってところだ天使みたいな女の子に会ったんだ天使本当にあ可愛くて優しくてミユキにも合わせてあげたかったな。Right. That's already an impossible wish. The future's already gone. I don't think she knows about what happened. Even so, there's still something I can do. So, that's why I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Someday, I'm sure. We will see her again. That summer, the Higurashi cried in Inizawa. Uishi and I vowed to bring the truth of the case to light and stood up. Everything ended in 1985. I, at least wanting to apologize, had searched for a grave. After the state autopsy, her remains were entrusted to one of the shrine's followers. In the future, when the quarantine in Himizawa area was lifted, they would be returned to her family grave. 
However, unsure who exactly took the reins of Rika Furune, until today I couldn't even apologize to her. In the future, when the quarantine on Nimiza was lifted, all I could do then was wait until whoever that person is returned to the grave. Whoever that person is returned to the grave. What I could do right now was not apologize to her. Instead, until I was able to meet her again, I would reveal the truth and dispel her regrets. Even now, sporadic eruptions of gas in the Mizawa area meant that the prospect of the quarantine being lifted wasn't happening anytime soon. Most likely, it seemed that she had no intention of meeting again until I found the truth. That's why the quarantine wouldn't be lifted, or so I thought. Until the day I grasped the truth, it was the following year. We should not co-author a book on the string of mysterious deaths leading up to the Great Himizawa disaster. I decided on I decided on the title. Higurashi When they cry That was because for those few days I was in Himizawa, the sound that I remembered the most was the cry heat of the Higurashi. I could only wish that based on this book, those people involved with that incident could refresh their memories and bring to a new to bring light a new truth. And more importantly, that nothing like this ever happens again. I wrote this in the afterword. That is our only wish. Yes! Kuradoishi, Mamoru Akasaka. Yes! This year, the quarantine in Himizawa still hasn't been lifted. Well, that was their abrupt, um, Higurashi when they cry loco. And that was the end of Hima. Sabushi. A new scenario has been unlocked. An all cast review session has become available. To play it, select Ektra on the title menu and then pick the all cast review session. Hell yeah, we're doing that right here, right now. Our only wish achievement unlocked. Let's see the after party and then the final question arc of Hirashi when they cry, Hima Sabushi, will be over. Wow. I really butchered this chapter of the game, but. It was still amazing, and I still enjoyed my time reading it. And I hope you enjoyed me reading it. えこの旅は日暮らしの泣く頃にすい暇つぶしをプレイしてくださり誠にありがとうございます。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。う
You had a name drop, Satko. You did have a few name drops, so you weren't you didn't have it as bad as Rena. Rena? They did Rena dirty in this chapter, I'm gonna be honest here. Rena was not dirty. Uh, okay, well, she's also read here in the log, so Rena didn't get that bad. Keiji got done dirty! Keiji's been the one who got done dirty! <laughs> Your mouth was really um delayed to your dialogue. I feel really bad for Satoko. Uh, uh, <laughs> Kito, Sigikoso de Banga, I fire to Mona. Come on, eh? Genki das de co? Shkashi. Gonkai no scenario, or marketing a scenario to a kid at a kid. さいどうよ。なんだか随分話がややこしくなったように思うんだけど。僕には難しくてよくわかんないお話だったのですよ。うん。何しろ信じられなかったのが連続開始事件が起こる前の年にもうリカちゃんがそれを知っていたなんて。ってことはつまり全ての事件は最初から予定されたシナリオってことになるんだよね。これはかなり大きい情報だよ。僕がきっとミコなのでお社様のお告げで未来が分かったに違いないのですよ。さあ、ジャスタリカ。うーん。人間犯人説の私としてはそれは真っ先に否定したいところだなレナは祟り派なんで木南座を見守るお社様の生まれ変わりであるリカちゃんにそういう人通力もひょっとするとあったんじゃないかなって思うなああダメダメ 人間派はそういう得体の知れないファンタジーは一切認めないの。事件は全て人間の仕業。たたりも魔法もイカ様もズルも一切なし。エンバーザシカ。僕は魔法とか使えたら素敵だと思いますのですよ。リカちゃんなら
I'm pointing this out now. Rena is adorable. She is adorable. ニンゲンだけに起こせる事件じゃないことの証明になるんじゃないかな。僕は頭がこんがらがってわかんないです。そうだそうだ。それよりもさ、今回リカちゃんが見せたあの表情。なんだか怖かったな。うん、レナも驚いたな。可愛らしいリカちゃんがあんな笑い方をするとは思わなかったよ。ね、ちょっとさ、ちょっとさ。もう一回あの顔をしてみせてよ。やなこったなのですよ。ああ。レ、レナも
ちゃんとやってくれるじゃないの<笑>回答編前の折り返しおまけシナリオとはいえお姉だけに出番を許すほど私も寛大じゃないってことですまあそんなわけでちょっとさとこを抱きつけさせてもらいましたまあそういうのシオンあんた何が望みなの安全圏の確保とでも言いますか昨今ですねどういうわけかお姉がじりじりと票を伸ばしてるんですよ oh, yeah, popularity polls. うん共通ルートのみーちゃんもえって意見が開発人の間でも結構多いんだよフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフそういうわけで不穏に票を伸ばすお姉やさとこをここいらで一つ叩き落としておこうと思いましてこういう大仕掛けを打たせてもらったというわけですあシオンさん今何と言いまして私も叩き落としですって<笑> Never trust she on. 気づくのが遅いようで。Oh. Oh, no, the battery of my camera is running low. What's up? I finish this in time. What kind of trap was that? <laughs> What kind of trap was that? Sayonara, regular no mina san. Konnichiwa, irregular no mina san. あんたたちメインヒロインはこれでおしまいです。シオンちゃん。ああ、俺もやっぱりやらなくてもいいんじゃないかな。まあまあ、まあまあ、ジローさん。面白いからほっときましょう。<笑> <Just let them die. 笑>私たち二人の出番がいっぱい増えるのよ。ジローさんは私と一緒いやああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああごめんね、リュウグさん。ブチライオーシオンさんが次回のシナリオからは教えてチエ先生のコーナーを作ってくれるって言うから。おい、強い。さあ、テッド。誰から恥ずかしい処刑をしてあげましょうかね。ケイチ。大仕掛けを手伝ってくれたお礼に、サトコからかな。This will be a moment where either we s h i or Keiji jump in at the last moment, or Irene. Irene has not appeared yet in this segment. So, t h e r e are you, Shima Senyo? Tong! Yeah! I knew it! I knew he was gonna appear at some point! Kanto go! Nanda ka, Nezurashku Tanomoshku me and Oshu. サトコちゃんに対するローゼキは私、oh, キュウスケが許すわけにはいきません。私も脇役一派ではありますが、怪獣できると思わないことですよ。Hell yeah. ありゃ、この後に収録予定の実録
サトコメイド教育着せ替え編の主役は交番したいと。シオン様。<笑>この入り江、一生どこまでもついてまいります。That's like a whole new level of voicing that I don't even know if I can produce myself. Congratulations, voice actor. これで全て私の支柱ですねこれからはお疲れ様会もシナリオも全て私の思うままに進めさせてもらいますねあれ一人足りないシオン様リュウグウさんがいませんいつの間に抜け出したのかいたリュウグウさんさっき身動きしてはいけませんって言ったはずですよレナちゃん悪いことは言わない抵抗しない方が無難だよレナ悪いけどこんなやり方おかしいと思いますそれは何のマネレアカシ編の台本なるほど登場回数を削られる前に確保しておこうという魂胆ねいや<笑>無駄な抵抗をレナさん無駄な抵抗はよしておとなしくした方がいいと思います私をあんまり怒らせるとあなただけでなくお姉たちの処遇も変わってくることになりますよ台本を覚悟したくらいじゃ何もできないよレナここは悔しいけど言う通りにした方が<笑>大丈夫安心してこの目明かし編の台本が加わったことでレナたちはこの状況を逆転できるの逆転一体どんな秘策があると言うんですの<笑>レナさんは結構笑わせるのがうまいですねなら試してみたらどうですその逆転ってやつを試しに見せてくださいしーちゃんは甘えてる。本編にいくらでも良かったからってこうしてお疲れ様会でこれだけの出番を得ているのに甘えてるよ Wait a second, I think Miyakashi is actually chapter 5 I made a really big mistake, I apologize Miyakashi is chapter 5, not chapter 6 I don't remember what chapter 6 is 私がいつ甘えたって言うんですシーちゃんは分かってないたとえお疲れ様会だけといえども出演し他のシナリオにもあれだけ登場しておいてこの狼藉 Hey guys Guess what I'm filming on The old camera Yep This one died midway through the recording So I had to move on To this very old Very very classic camera of mine So let's finish off Himasabushi right now Before this camera dies as well. So, my she chan will be. You just got to get a nice jig of no in saga. Hold on. He called the con. What are you talking about? So, 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 そのケイちゃんを差し置いてお疲れ様かい占領なんてケイちゃんが許すはずがない<笑>なるほどでそのいまだに収録居残り中のケイちゃんがどうやってここへ現れると
まさかケイちゃんを私たちの誰かが追い抜いたわけでもあるまいに<笑>そう思うのがシーちゃんの慢心だよ<笑> This is an intense after party. いけないあれは赤坂編の収録ワード数表シエ先生レナちゃんを取り押さえてそうさ今まではそうだった。収録居残りのたびに残りワード数で誰かを抜けばお疲れ様会に参加してもいいよと言われ続けてそれでも他のキャラと比べても2倍あるいは3倍以上もある分量をこなすなど不可能というか最初から参加させる気ないだろ音響監督さんよーと思って諦めてきたがついに俺は抜いたあるキャラをシオンこれを見やがれーえげけーそう主役として登場パターンが増えたシオンは当然しゃべるワード数もこれまでの2倍しかもミオンとキャストが同じだからさらに2倍その結果俺はようやくついにそしてシオン今度はお前が居残りだ You talk too much, Keiji, so fuck you. I can skip one of your lines once in a while. しかもこれにミーの数が加わるのですその数やなんとというわけでだレナ感謝するぜ月にすら見放され真の闇が地上を覆いしとき漆黒の魔王前原啓司ゴーリンあっ見つけたキャラクターまるで自分が悲劇の主人公みたいな振る舞いだったが俺から見れば実に滑稽千番。What is the Joker movie? よしいい気になりすぎたみたいだなお疲れ様会の旅に常に居残りになって胃ろの一杯にすらありつけなかった俺の怒りを恨みを悲しみを今こそ教えてくれるぜな,なんだかケイチ君悪の化身みたいだな化身じゃない魔王と言ってもらいたいぜ<笑>そして俺が抑圧された悪夢の中で手に入れた闇の力はまさに無限大で無料体操俺の俺による俺のために作り出したこの闇の世界では俺に逆らうことは何人にもかなわぬのだイチクなんだか怖いな怖い<笑>怖い日暮らしの時間はもう終わりだぜここからはポップでキュートで萌え萌えな日暮らしが始まるのだあっさよなな何ですか<笑><笑>前原様
ぜひ私もお供に<笑>監督は分かってるじゃねえかじゃあお医者な監督をしもべに迎えた第一弾としてわが魔力を見せよう。しかもピンクとかのギャルゲー的な色じゃない分かってるちゃんと清楚な純白だーナースさんの分際で本編で一度もナース服を着ないとは少子千万さーてと次の標的はっとレレーナーこれじゃ全然形勢は逆転してないよ新しいピンチを迎えちゃってるよ<笑> This is turning to a different kind of game. Kuna Makuraja, Lena ni mo doji o mutai yo. Sate, Sugi wa dare ni donna isho o kise yo ka ni. Egata ku. Seifu, Taiso fu, Sukumiz no sandan combo de mo kime tok ka? Just imagine Wishi just comes in and turns on the light saying, Hey guys, what's up? Mae bara sama, Saiko su. その後はバニーさんにコンパニオンにいえいえレオタード姿もいいですねいやいやいっそみんなお色気全開にしちゃうってのはどうでしょう、oh, <笑>も,もちろん靴下は残すのでありますしのことはこれからはイリーとドクターイリーとお呼びよう。My mind is splitting in half. What the fuck? Oh, we should just came in. トミーとクラウドも常にケイのそばにありますよ。Who's Tommy? Oh, t o m a t a k e t o m m クラウドついに揃ったぜ四天王ここに剣山だーああ、oh, <laughs> That's my kind of fantastic floor <laughs> ついに What? K を筆頭に悪の四天王が揃い分暗黒を得てついに地上に降臨を果たした漆黒の魔王前原圭一その魔力は絶大にして無比この闇では誰にも立ち向かえない屈するほかないああヒロインたちはこの闇を抜け出せず魔王たちの思うがままに恥ずかしい衣装を次々と強要され永遠に等身大着せ替え人形の扱いをされてしまうのか最高だぞもっとやれっていうか。スクミズはちゃんと Q タイプだろうな。競泳型だったら許さんぞー。<笑>ダク、シオン、あんたのせいでこうなったんだから、あんたなんとかしなさいよ。大丈夫ですよね。暗闇の中で真の力を得るのはケイちゃんだけじゃないです。え？そんな都合のいい味方ここにいましたっけ？チョコザイナーその先シオン
ちなみに校長先生を期待してるなら残念だな男子本会ここに極まれり男たるもの最善を尽くすべしとお墨付きがちゃんとあるのだもちろん新登場の赤坂さんに頼ろうとしても無駄だぜ昨日からお嬢さんを親類に預けて夫婦水入らずで温泉旅行だそうだからなつまり八方ふさがりってわけさ甘いですねケイちゃん安易に闇の世界を生み出して妄想全開すちゃらか万歳ってやってしまうととある誰かも真の姿を現すことが可能になるのです。Since when did this after party become a little bit more intense than the actual game? Seriously, this is a lot more intense than h i m a s a b u c h i even though h i m a s a b u c h i was intense. I'm feeling more on the edge of my seat because of this scene, a n y t h i n g e l s e I have no clue what's happening. I'm at the edge of my seat. So, you are today. See, I say, so you are today. So, you are today. So, you are today. So, you are today. なんだか知恵先生の服装が変わってますわね。何ですのあの両手にいっぱいの剣は。<笑><笑>ま、まさかそんな。それはいくらなんでも反則、うん。それ以上は内緒なのですよ。ニパー。前原くん、少し置いたが過ぎたようです。これ以上は教会も見逃せません。What church? ちょちょちょちょちょっと待てよ。こここれこれはないだろ。映るだろ。作品違うじゃねえか。おい、こんなのなしだろ。わわちょちょそそのででかいのはままずいって。ええええ。は早すぎる。あんたその動きは絶対人間やめてるだろ。やややや。やや <laughs> And Kichi's deceased. <laughs> God damn, I'm so big. Ah. Ah. Well, <laughs> is, that, is this how we really end Team Mitsubishi? We're actually ending Team Mitsubishi like this. Never mind, we're not. <laughs> oh, okay. Also, I like in the background the little、um, building behind the Angel Mode called Food Shop. I, I really enjoyed that in the background. You're welcome, Rina. I think you already know this, but Higurashi When They Cry is a type of visual novel without any choices. Therefore, compared to adventure type visual novels with branching routes to take, it's much closer to the experience of a book or movie. Because of that, there is the opinion out there that this should not be called a game, per se. If you're just watching it like a book or movie, Higurashi with a Cry isn't really a game, true. That's why, as you know, there are a lot of mysteries referenced during the course of the experience. When you challenge those, this work will become a proper game. プレイヤーの皆さんにはこの謎に満ちた物語をさまざまな角度から捉え吟味する権利があります例えば劇中に散りばめられた謎について推理をしそれを発表して反響を得たりすることもまた楽しいかと思います。So, this is the author basically describing how this could actually be a game and trying to figure out what the mysteries are behind what's going on. That's why Higurashi with the Kai is still a game. I've always classified this as a game, so I really don't. Like, I feel like this section was both needed and also unneeded because a lot of people who read to, up to this point probably already know this is the game of where you have to guess what's going to happen next. But it's also very important to clarify that yes, in our eyes, this is a game. As the creator, we see this as a game. Which I totally understand why they're doing this segment, but to me it's just a little bit preachy. In any case, the next chapter starts to answer arcs. We totally called it Miyakashi. But answers are a sad thing. Based on what is revealed, all the possibilities that you're allowed to imagine until now will suddenly become refined down to a few. 
Based on that logic, we think that right here, before the answer arcs, is probably where people can enjoy this work we call Hirachi when they cry the most. If by chance, while you are reading this, you have already had the Miyakashi chapter at hand, please enjoy hypothesizing, theorizing, and fantasizing to the fullest before you start. That's where the real charm of the series takes place. Ha <laughs> ha Sorry for saying something so impudent. There's nothing better we like than for you to enjoy Hirashi when they cry. And I have. So <laughs> it's a beautiful ひなみざ村で皆さんをお待ちしていますねでなと遊んでくれるなら一緒に宝探しに行きたいなあ、ぶつ。はう。エチブノラクヒロシパーティー。エンド。ナウズオールフォーザファイナルクエスチョンアー